we are at the McKenna Beach and Golf Resort here with Harold Williams. Hey, how you doing? Very well. We uh, have noticed that you're going to start yeah. our next game. How yeah. does that feel? Feels good. Um, finally get some innings in and, um, you know, I'm able to go and show the people what I got. So. You know, as a pitcher, uh, you got to stay healthy, and when the phone call comes, man, you just got to be there, right? I mean, that's really it. Most likely, yeah, you have to be uh, prepared. And, um, you know, I've been healthy, so I'm ready to go. So I'm, I'm waiting, for, you know, I'm ready for the opportunity, and uh, we'll see what happens. Southern California boy, you come from the, the town of Rialto, uh, but you have been to Hawaii in the past. Tell us a little something about that. Yeah, in 2007, um, I was uh, picked uh, one of the guys for the Seattle Mariners to come down and represent Seattle. Um, here for the uh, Winter League in 07. So the Hawaiian Winter uh, Baseball League uh, invited me out and uh, along with four other players and we represented uh, uh, Seattle Mariners on the Waikiki Beach Boys. Oh, nice. So yeah, it was it was a really cool experience. Uh, we got to go down to uh, the Big Island and uh, Maui and of course Oahu. So um, it was it was neat. I liked it. Yeah. What's your dream? What, what, what would you like to see happen? Uh, we all have dreams as a kid. Is it was this the original dream growing up, or did it all evolve? Tell us. Um, it you know I've I've always you know dreamed of playing big league ball. Um, this is why I keep playing. Um, I started playing when I was 12 years old, and um, I just you know followed in from then. Um, I knew it's something that I wanted to do because. You know, that's, I've always been, you know, I've watched my dad growing up. He played ball as well. Wow, great. So, um, you know, he uh, kind of influenced me on it. So I, I, I like, you know, I like the whole baseball thing and went, you know, went at it. So that's how I came about. Well, they need pitchers out there. You know, if you can hit the strike zone, a lot of guys can have that opportunity, correct? Yes. Um, you know, it's all about being consistent. I mean, this is a game of, of you know, being consistent if you're a pitcher. Um, you have to be consistent throwing strikes, and right. uh, that's one problem that I've been kind of, you know, uh, it's been a problem for me since the start. But you know, I've been consistent at times, and when I have, I've been very successful. So I'm left-handed, and um, I have a good arm, and all I need is just to be consistent, and we'll see what happens from then. You know, you also have some outside activities, and one of them is you like to hunt. Yeah, yeah, um, I like to hunt. Um, I like to go out in wilderness and, uh, you know, uh, shoot some deer, of course. Uh, only what I can handle eating. Sure. But uh, I like to do it. Just, you know, keep my keep, keeps my mind off things. And I'm, a, you know, an adventurer, so I like to go out to the, to the wild and kind of seek out animals at times and, you know, go ahead and hunt them when I can. So. Now, do you, do you know how to clean them and do all that kind of stuff like that? Because me, I, don't, um, I wouldn't even know what to start. Well, it's, you know, it's, it's tough course you take out all the organs and, and and just clean them out and you take what you eat you can eat and right. uh, whatever you can share you just the have rest. to share the rest with the other animals so that's how it goes you know now what about the ocean do some hunting down inside there you like to fish like to kind of see what that's like we actually i actually went diving um yesterday oh. and uh, you know it's never been uh diving before but uh it was uh, quite an experience for me so you know i i enjoyed it you know whole uh, different world whole different world you know um you're out there and you just know, I don't, you know, you never know what could happen. Sure. Uh, I'm very <laughs> shark wary. I, I hear you guys have some of the biggest, you know, tiger sharks. So. Oh, yes, we do. So, um, I mean, I was wary looking around, trying to make sure that nothing, you know, behind me, but I, I enjoyed it. It was beautiful. It's a whole other world out there. And um, I'm, ha you know, I'm happy to experience it. So A lot of times you go, what's that shadow over there? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. You got to make sure it look twice and make sure it's not something that you think it is. And your mind, you know, plays tricks on you. It so. sure does. It sure does. Yeah. What's your favorite food? Um, I would have to say Mexican food. Gotcha. Um, um, uh, my mother's Mexican from uh, Nayarit, Mexico. And, uh, you know, she's, I grew up in Mexican food. So right um, that's my favorite food. I, I love it. Along with seafood, I love seafood. Uh, but um, I grew up eating Mexican food and, uh, you know, it'll, it'll, I don't know. We'll see what happens when I get married. Uh, hopefully. Uh, oh, yeah, she better know how to cook. She's got to learn how to cook some Mexican food, so we'll see what happens. Yeah, it's gonna it's gonna be interesting, but uh, we'll see what happens. You're not gonna go make her hunt, no? I mean, you know how that goes. Nah, I'll bring the food in. All right, all <laughs> yes. right. I'll right. bring the food in. You cook it, and that's how that's how we'll go. Yeah. Favorite drink. Favorite drink would have to be uh, horchata. You know what oh, horchata is? Sure. Rice drink. Tell me, tell me what horchata is. Horchata is rice drink. Um, you know, you, you different people. You know, different. De depending where you come from, uh, it, you know, it's a Spanish drink. Um, everybody makes it differently, you know. Um, but 
I mean, you know, the way my mother makes it, it's, you know, to me, it's the best. I, I like it with a little bit of cinnamon in there. And, and of course, it's got to be super cold. So it's, you know, it's for me, it's a summer drink that I drink in the summer all the time. So do you know how to make it? No, I don't. OK, I need to know, but you need to know. Yeah, I need to know. But I unfortunately, I don't. I'm, you know, I'm. We're too busy winning, you know, first winning halves. Games. Yeah, <laughs> that's mom. I need to make horchata. Exactly. So, <laughs> <laughs> so I mean, well, you know, that's that's my favorite drink. So. Dessert. Cheesecake. Mm. Cheesecake Factory is my favorite restaurant. I love it because of the cheesecake. I can wow. I can have cheesecake all day. So that's me. Are you surprised how the guys on this team have gelled to be like a family? Um, no, I mean. I mean in a ways, yes, because baseball, I mean, coming from a minor league system, everybody's about themselves. And, uh, they really don't worry about the whole team thing. You know, people are trying to do well so they can move up in the system. Here, it's different, you know, yeah. because we're actually trying to win. And I haven't had this experience since I've left Little League ball. Wow. Yeah. How nice is that? Well, that's it's very nice. Um, you know, we I've never I haven't felt this way since Little League. So we you know, we try to do whatever we can to help each other out, right. you know, and um, we just try to stay positive. Of course, we have some some times where, you know, we argue at times. But you know what? These guys know how to rub it off. And the next day we're friends. We're good. Let's go Let's play ball. We got to win, you know, game to win. So that's uh, just that's just the way we, we are. And I'm happy that I'm on this team. It's uh well, it's interesting that all the guys, you know, uh, like you said, this is how it goes. This is how we roll. Yeah. And, and these guys are just kind of saying, uh, we're, we're a family, and if i got to kick him in the tail, I will. Exactly. And that's how we are. We are very honest with each other. If there's something that uh, if you know, a guy's not doing that he, needs, that he should be doing, uh, we let him know. And it's only because we try to help him out, you know. Right. We get defensive at times, but we know how to deal with it. And that's the, that's the good part that we know how to deal with certain things. We don't go ahead and take it to heart like others do. Right. We know that we're a family and we're gonna to continue to be one. And that's why we're winning so many games. Is there such thing as poi or chata? No, I don't think so. <laughs> I, I've never heard of it. So, I mean, I haven't heard of it. And I, I don't know, it may be good. We'll see. What All right, you like poi? I haven't tried it yet. Oh, we're gonna do that. It goes good with the venison, my friend. Uh, okay, we'll see. I don't know, because venison and me, we don't kind of get along. Yeah. Nicole Ikaika Baseball. Here with the, one of the finest pitchers we have on the team. He's got one of his first starts coming up. And let's say a nice little prayer for everybody that everybody stays healthy when we get the second half. We're going to be right back right after this.